Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I want to do a video kind of like throwing it back to older videos that I used to do and I wanted to sit down and talk about some products. I haven't talked about products in a long time, just like sitting down and running through some of my favorites. I've done a favorites video in so long, so I figured what I do today is I went through my stuff. I wanted to only talk about natural products today, talk about things that you can first of all find on Vitacost, so I'll have everything linked down below. Everything is super affordable and also I wanted them to be products that are clean, safe, like good for you to use, especially if you guys are pregnant like I am. These are things that you can know they're going to work and also know that they're safe to use and just full of really good ingredients. This is going to be skincare, hair, makeup, a little, yeah, makeup. And then I also grabbed a few baby products, like kid-friendly things that you can use too. I'll throw those in at the end if you guys want to see. And these are things that I've either repurchased a bunch of times before or I love them so much that yes, I will definitely repurchase them again. The first product I want to share with you is something that I don't think I've mentioned on any social media, any YouTube video yet, and I've been using it every single day. So I feel like I have to talk to you guys about this. This is from the company Michelle. They have really great skincare products. So this I tried, I went to a beauty, what was it, a health convention a while ago. And that's when I first tried this and I was like, this is awesome. It is the Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50 broad spectrum and then it's tinted. So I have it in nude light medium. They also have an untinted one and they have one other shade as well. This is kind of like the It Cosmetics liquid. Honestly, it's very, very similar, but this has better ingredients, so I find myself reaching for this one more. They're both in my medicine cabinet, but it seems like I use this most of the time. Here, let's see, let me show you guys. See how you get like a little bit of a tint? And I put this on my skin either, sometimes I'll use it just as my moisturizer, and SPF all in one, skin tint, you know, you kind of get like it all just in one step. Or sometimes if my skin feels really dry, I will do, you know, cleanse, tone, serum, moisturize, and then I'll throw this on top just as my SPF. So, but it's like a tinted SPF. This is something you need for the summertime, mainly because it's like a lightweight SPF. I don't like to have a ton of heavy products on my skin in the summer, especially because it's hot. You don't want to feel like, ugh, I don't know, that feeling just gross to me. So I love that this is just very, very lightweight. You get the tint, you get your SPF. It's just like kind of everything all in one. The next thing that I love, especially for the summertime, is my CC cream from Pacifica. I have been using this nonstop ever since I got it. I lost the cap. And I remember throwing away a cap and I was like, I have no idea what this goes to. And then... I was like, oh, it goes to this, but oh well. It's the Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. I didn't realize it was a radiant foundation. I just thought it was a CC cream. Anyways, it's Broad Spectrum SPF 17. It has coconut water in here. It's 100% vegan. It's cruelty-free. It is a moisture-rich foundation with multi-action extracts. I use this when I want just a light coverage. Like, it's not going to give you full coverage foundation. It's just going to give you a light layer of color. But it feels so nice. It feels like you're putting not a serum on your skin, but just like a really nice moisturizer. It feels like you're feeding your skin with really good ingredients. If I do want more coverage though, like say I just need a little bit of extra something, I will mix this with my Makeup Forever HD. And the combo of the two of them is like amazing because you get more of that flawless finish, but it doesn't feel cakey on your skin because this just really feels like a moisturizer on your on your face. I just love this so much, especially if you guys are into more of a lightweight illuminating finish, you will love this. Next up, I have to mention my powder that I use every, not every single day, but when I'm doing my makeup like fully, it is my Mineral Fusion Pressed Base Foundation. I have it in the shade Warm 3. Now, I don't use this like a foundation. I use it as a setting powder, and you can tell that I have used quite, quite a lot of that. So I just do a sheer bit of this underneath my eyes to kind of set my concealer. I'll do a little bit around my face, mostly in my T-zone, 
and it gives you the most beautiful finish. It's made with really good ingredients. Mineral Fusion has some really good natural makeup options if you guys are looking for some more natural makeup brands, but their powder is by far my favorite. Next, I have to mention a chapstick that I found on Vitacost, and ever since then, a lot of you guys have said that it's your favorite brand as well. So the company is called Hurrah. So this one is the Sun Lip Balm, so you get an SPF in there, so Again, perfect for the summertime. But I also have two other flavors. I think I have the vanilla and the coconut, but I love to keep this in my purse if I'm outside. It's like a really good chapstick to use with SPF. And then I also love to keep a regular one in my drawer in the bathroom to throw on at night or whatever. It's a really good, just all over hydrating lip balm, chapstick, whatever you wanna call it. Next up I have a shampoo and conditioner that is so good, guys. I've never heard anybody talk about this. This was a find on Vitacost that I found that was so random. I was looking for a shampoo and conditioner and I don't know why I decided to try this one, but I did. The brand is Apothecare Essentials and the scent is coconut milk, white jasmine, vitamin E. It's called the Mender. Here's the label so you guys can see what it looks like. So. It says the mender, it's repair nourish for distressed hair. And when I first use this, I don't know if you guys remember, I talked about this a while ago, and it was when I was dealing with some postpartum, I have an eyelash in my eye, some postpartum hair loss. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I got this when I was trying to get my hair back to like a really healthy state, and I finished it up completely, and just kind of forgot to repurchase it because I had some other shampoos that I wanted to work through. And then, you know, as time goes on, I'm getting like random questions on my Instagram in my DMs asking for like my top shampoo recommendations. I've always said Aveda shampoo and conditioners, I love those so much. But the other one I've always told you guys is this one. And I was starting to realize like, I'm recommending this so much, why don't I repurchase it, you know what I mean? So the last time I placed an order for Vitacost, I got myself another set of these, and I've had it in the shower now for, I don't know, a month again? And it's, I just remembered why I love it so much. So yes, it smells divine, like so, what is, it's, like yes, it smells like coconut, but it's a, it's like a tropical coconut. You're in Hawaii and this is what the shampoo you're gonna be using is, I feel like. But besides the scent, your hair feels so smooth afterwards. I honestly feel like it's really helped my hair. Not that my hair is really unhealthy right now because I stopped dyeing it like two years ago now. And ever since I stopped dyeing it, my hair got so much more healthy. But I do think that this shampoo and conditioner is just it's like feeding your hair, which is like the best ingredients. I also have noticed when I do use this that I sometimes don't even need to use any hair products in my hair afterwards. Like I can let it air dry and then add some waves to it and it just looks great, which I feel like a lot of the times you need to add like at least a leave-in conditioner or a smoothing treatment just so your hair looks like not as frizzy. But whenever I use this, when my hair air dries, it just looks awesome. So highly recommend these, they're just great. Okay, next is a cleanser that I've been using nonstop ever since I got it. It's from Acure. It's the Brightening Cleanser Gel with pomegranate, blackberry, 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 and acai. So, and it's 100% vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, silicone-free, cruelty-free. It smells really good, let me say that first like super fresh. Okay, Andalou Naturals was like my go-to natural skincare brand for a long time. Like back when Andrew and I were in our second apartment, uh, I don't know who, how many of you were with me at the time, but I feel like I used Andalou Natural products like strictly. This one I wanted to talk about too. I'll talk about this after. Um, it's the Andalou Naturals Enlightened Serum. But I used a few Acure products, but not a ton. I recently started looking at their products again because they repackaged all of their stuff. And for some reason, I was drawn to it and have now started to really like them again. The only thing I really used to use from them was a, uh, what was it? I think it was a brightening exfoliator. It's like a green, it has chlorella in it. 
Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I used that a lot, like a few years ago. The cleanser I love because it's a gel cleanser, so it does a great job at cleaning your skin really, really well. It kind of suds up and it just smells really refreshing. It's really, really good. I'm very picky with my cleansers, which I think is kind of odd because cleansers are not on your skin for that long, but this, I just thoroughly enjoy whenever I use it. The other product that I've been really liking is their Radically Rejuvenating Face Mask. So it's made with Moroccan red clay and marshmallow root. So it's supposed to help with anti-aging. So you put it on your skin and you look crazy. Like it looks like you have blood all over your face. I think I used this in a video and I was on my bed and I had the mask on, I believe. But if you guys are looking for a good natural mask, check out Acure's mask. They have really good options. I am such a mask person. I am slightly obsessed. If you guys watched my bathroom organization video, you saw the drawer of masks that I have. And it's like a lot. I keep two to three in the bathroom or not in the bathroom in the shower at all times. And I use them at least once a week. The shower to me seems like the perfect place to use a mask because you're already getting, your pores are already opening up from the steam and you can shave your legs. It's just like ideal. And I also just did one this morning. Sometimes I'll just throw one on in the morning and I'll like drink my coffee and it just can soak onto your skin. But I, I don't know. Recently, I've just been obsessed with masks. Maybe it's because I feel like my I've, with the girls, they're at such a busy, busy age right now that putting on a little mask for like five to 10 minutes kind of makes me feel like I'm just getting a little bit of self-care, which is always nice. And like I was saying, I love Andalou Natural skincare, so I just wanted to throw this in here because I'm always using a few different serums that I have on hand, but Andalou Naturals is one of the brands that I tend to go back to because I know that it works really well. It agrees with my skin and my skin doesn't react to it in any bad way. Like it just, my skin soaks it up. And they recently did redo their packaging. Now it's in a glass container. It used to be in a plastic bottle. So that's kind of nice. I like the brightening and I also like the rose line, which is pink. The rose mask is super, super good. And then the purple line is the more anti-aging. Next I have a body product. This is from Derma E. It is their scar gel. And I wanted to talk about this because I do get a lot of questions asking what I used on my C-section scar when I had the girls. And this is all I used and it worked really, really well. I'm not gonna lie, I've been neglecting my scar the, over the past few months. Like I rarely use this now, but I used to be really good at applying this all the time. And it really helps to minimize the appearance of any scars. I just happened to use it on my C-section scar. It says for new scars, use at least for eight weeks. And then for old scars, use at least three to six months. And then it has a natural botanical formula, clinically proven to smooth texture, fade discoloration, and improve the overall appearance of your scars. One other body product is the Oracacia Tranquil Chamomile Bubble Bath. This is my favorite bubble bath that I found that's made with pure ingredients and you get so many bubbles, like it's nuts. It's tested and verified for purity, not tested on animals, no synthetic colors and fragrances. And especially when you're taking a bath, you wanna be using a really good natural bubble bath. You don't wanna be soaking in chemicals, you know, that's just like not ideal. So this one just smells great. There's a bunch of different scents. I also have the lavender one. I'm pretty sure, I don't, I don't, I think it's vanilla lavender or something. This is again, one of those products that like I've used for so many years but it seems like such a normal thing to have just in my bathroom that I don't necessarily think to grab it and show you guys, but this is a really, really great bubble bath. Okay, next I have a hair product from Alterna. I've had this for so long. It is the Bamboo Shine line and it's called the Luminous Shine Mist. I use this so, so much. I don't know if this is the same one like I've originally purchased, but you can see I have this much left of it. And what I do with this is when I'm completely done styling my hair, sometimes your hair can look a little bit dull, especially on days, like today this is my third day hair. So I have some dry shampoo, so your hair can just look a little like kind of flat after a while. So I spray this all around my hair just to give it that shine, not a ton because you don't want your hair to look greasy, but more like from here down, I will use it 
on my ends. Those can look dull after a while. If you don't wash your hair for a few days, your ends can look a little just like dead. Let me just spray some right now. It smells amazing though. So we just kind of pop that in. And it's been a product that I have been using non-stop for, I don't know, five years. And you need like three sprays, that's all you need. But it's just, it makes your hair look really, really pretty. Last up, I have a few products for babies, little kids that are essentials, things that I have repurchased, and things that are just like my my necessities. I have so many baby products, it's stupid. Like in the bathroom medicine cabinet, I have so many baby products. I'm like, why do I have so many lotions? Like there's no need, it takes you forever to use one. So these are the main things that I think I would need. The first is just an everyday lotion. I love the California Baby line, I think it's a great brand as far as ingredients go and they just work really well. So this is the Calendula scent. And this is the everyday lotion. I also have the sensitive one that I was using and then Andrew was asking for a lotion like every day. He's like, can I borrow that lotion again? So I just gave it to him to have in his medicine cabinet. So he just uses the California Baby Sensitive Lotion and he uses it on his like arms and he also uses it on his face. So this I love for the girls. I don't use lotion on them a ton, but when I do, this is what I usually have. Sometimes what I do, I couldn't find, I think I ran out of it. The California Baby Massage Oil is amazing. I've gone through like three of them. And I would use it on the girls when they were babies, when they had a really, really dry skin. And I also will pour a little bit of that into their bath. You do have to be careful if you're pouring oil into your kid's bath because it's gonna be slick. But it makes their skin so hydrated so they come out of the bath and their skin just feels really, really nice. Okay, the other product from the same line is the Calendula Cream. This stuff is like, I, I feel like I've talked about this a lot on my channel, and I I really do feel like I've used so much of it, but I mean, can you guys see? There's still so much left in here. It smells so nice, and I kind of described this cream as like the miracle cream that you can use for everything. I love to have this when I travel with them because if they fall, I'll rub it on a scrape. I can use this on their face. I can use it so many places and it's just incredibly hydrating, really soothing, and definitely my go-to if I need something for them. So I tend to use this over the lotion. Uh, maybe just because it's a little bit more hydrating. I'm not sure, but it's amazing. And the last two products I have are from Baby Ganex. This one is the Cold Relief Chest Rub. I mentioned this in a video recently, I'm pretty sure. And this is the second one I've gone through, or I've purchased. And it's, you get the little, you know, you roll that up and you rub this on their chest. Sometimes I'll put it on the bottom of their feet and put socks on if they do have a cold, if they're stuffy. I'll turn on their humidifier overnight and this really works really well. And it's funny because I guess I've just been saying that when you rub it on your chest, you feel better because now the girls will request this. Like if they're stuffy, they'll say, wanna feel better? And they want me to rub this on their chest. So it's pretty funny. And then the last thing from Baby Ganex is this bubble bath. It's the chamomile verbena. I love this bubble bath. It works great. I was getting the, the California baby bubble bath a lot, but I think that this is more inexpensive and it seems that you get more bang for your buck with this bubble bath. There's also one from Alafia, I think is the brand that I really like as well. So I'll link that one down below. I kind of just see which one is cheaper at the time online, but both work really well. They're both made with really great ingredients. So those are all of the products I wanted to share with you guys. These are just great natural products, beauty products, skincare products that work really well for me. So I hope they will work well for you too. If you can, leave me a comment down below now with just like one thing that you would highly recommend for me and for everybody watching, whether that is a baby product, a skincare product that I could use, skin uh, makeup, just something that is a clean, natural brand that you think that we would all really like. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.